I think I, Dwight Howard is better than T Mac, but solely because Dwight Howard had more longevity than what T Mac did. Yeah. I think prime T Mac, peak T Mac was only four years. No, you guys are full of I'm shit. Biased, Rock no. is, That's why I'm in sense, because you're full of shit. Because <laughs> Tracy McGrady and Chris Paul are two of the biggest fucking underachievers ever. And people like Dwight can put up the numbers and give you more success than them, and you will still say they're better. That shit doesn't make any sense to me. That literally does not make any fucking sense to me. Because I guarantee you Dwight Howard will finish his career with even more points than Tracy McGrady did. And had a way longer prime than Tracy McGrady did. Way longer. Like, what the fuck are we talking about? I agree with you. Why are you looking at me? I agree with you. I agree with you. What are you looking at me for? I agree with you. What the fuck are we talking about? No, he's not. No, he's fucking not. No, he's not, G. He's not fucking better. Stop. You disrespectful. You disrespectful. Dwight led them to the finals past LeBron and the Celtics when he was 23. No, he's not. Yes, he is. No, he's not. Get the fuck out of here. No, he's not. Chris Paul's having MVP right now. No, he's not. No, he's not. Chris Paul's having MVP right now. No, he is not. No, he is not. No, he is fucking not. No, he's not. No, he's not. No, he is not. I'm gonna grab a beer. Dude, Dwight Howard's also been on. He's also been on like five teams in five different system situations. It's not one a thing. Chris Paul's only been on two teams. He has. He didn't like venture out and try other things. Dwight has tried multiple systems. He's been a cancer at every single one that he's been at. So I don't know how you can say he's. he's I don't think he's been a cancer at every single one he's been at. That that ball in that offense when Harden was just holding the ball the entire time. Did, is, is, like, if you're Dwight, how can I get shots when you have the ball all the time? Dwight doesn't shouldn't be getting shots. But, but Dwight should not, be getting lobs, How, how are you saying rebounds? that when he, when he when he consistently was he, averaging in between 18 to 22 points a game? He should lobs, only be getting shots off lobs and offensive rebounds. If he's getting any touches in the post, then it's like he's a waste of he time. He should still be getting touches in the post. Oh, my. He's, no, have you he seen him on the block? No, he, no, like... He he no, is he so important. He wasn't like prime. He wasn't was averaging twenty two point nine points a game off of just lobs and blocks. Yes, he was. A lot of it was lobs and blocks. It gets the fact that I'm more athletic than you. Dwight never had post moves. I never ever. said Dwight had post never. moves. So but why he you can, giving him post moves? Because he can still get a bucket. He can still get you a bucket. If you throw Dwight the ball down there, he might not give you the greatest move of all time. But what during his prime, even before he hurt his back, you could throw him the ball and he will get you a bucket. Period. Now he like, would get you now a like now, like now that he has like lost a little bit, now that he now that he's lost back. a little bit of his athleticism and he can't and he can't jump as much as he used to. He doesn't score as much, but he still was consistently before he he's before he went to Houston was still averaging 17, 18 points a game while giving you thirteen rebounds you and two like, blocks a game. Like I don't, like, I, I, don't, I, don't I, I believe no, I but believe you fucking telling me Chris Paul is better. He is. Dwight gives you the numbers and he gives you the success. What success? Wow, he what? Is he, he took his team to the finals. Chris Paul can't get up the second round. The East was weak. If Chris Paul was in the East, he would have went to a conference finals by now. I said he took his team to the NBA finals. I if didn't Chris say Paul a fucking was in the conference finals. He probably would have made a uh, finals by now. If he was in the East? That's, yeah, probably. I agree with that. If Dwight in the West, <laughs> he not getting to maybe a conference finals. True. Let's keep it 1,000. Dwight went through the Celtics and through the Cavs to get to the, the finals. The Celtics were old. KG was hurt. KG was hurt. KG was hurt. He was KG also sprained his knee that year. Did he not? Did he not? Did he not? He sprained his knee that year. Dwight was also 23 years old that year. Okay, that's cool. He still didn't face a full fledged Celtics team and the fucking Cavs are the goddamn Cavs. <laughs> you should introduce your other guests. But then you'll tell me LeBron James is the greatest basketball player of all time. I didn't say he was. I listen. When I ever say LeBron is the greatest basketball player of all time? You definitely say it. Talent wise, yes. No, there ain't no fucking talent wise. You either the greatest or you're not. Talent wise, yes. Yeah, man. Anyways, welcome to the to the desk to the podcast. 